Hello everyone! Welcome back. So, we're here at the Dread Pirate Roberts base. And, uh, got a few things to show you guys. If you haven't seen them already. Um, well, as you all know, last episode, uh, Melody threw down with Wade Spencer. And, uh, yeah. So, Melody's kinda no more at the moment. So we're going to be working on a new frigate that we're going to be building to replace Melody. Maybe improve on the overall aspects. Again, this design was from like years ago, so we're going to try something new. Um, but I want to show you guys some stuff that's been happening at our base. Cap has been busy. You know, here is his little fighter that you guys would have seen last episode during the fight. It fared rather well, and the shields held, so yeah. Nice little design. Uh, lots of Gatlins on the front. Got some more tucked in down here. And he's got the reloadable rocket launchers. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So, this thing can dump a lot of firepower. And he's got... Um, the automatic ones on it too. So, and I like how we put this little detail here. So even though it kind of sticks out, it actually looks like it blends. So that's actually kind of cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, this is just all around. I can put lots of uh, damage downrange while I'm dodging and while I'm doing anything else. So, nice little bomber fighter. And it's fairly cheap because there's not a lot of there's not a lot of bits. And with this many thrusters, and yeah, there's like not very many armor blocks overall. So it, it's going to be fairly light. Um, so yeah, should be really maneuverable and uh, work really well. So, cool design. And then, uh, yeah, here's his uh, Scorpion Mark III, which is really, really cool lots and lots of turrets. So, he's got all of the defense turrets you could ever want. Um, so, that's good. And, uh, yeah. Those are rocket launchers. That's nine of them. Those are... That's, that's nine rocket launchers pointed in one direction. So, that's a lot of rockets to shoot downrange. So this can this can definitely uh, definitely unload a lot of damage, and then and then he obviously had to like up his game even further by sticking little Davids in here. He's got three in each arm. So yeah, this is the thing you don't want pointed at you because this is just gonna like unload, you know, the end of the world at anything that's between these arms. So, yeah. It's going to be pretty burly. So, I'm liking it. But, so, and then, yeah, there's his, there's his big frigate, too, that we've seen before, which is just, I'm going to shoot lots of cannons at you. And you're just going to have to live with that. So, both really good designs. I like them a lot. Um, but yeah, we need to get started on a new frigate, because Melody served us well, but Melody's gonna go into retirement now. Um, been looking through some various different ideas I had in the past, plus there was a couple comments on the last video that sounded pretty cool too, about reinforcing the front end, and I think I have an idea around that for an improved design. So... I'm gonna throw down a couple blocks, kind of get like a length figured out, and you know, just kind of get an idea of what kind of size I'm gonna be looking at. And uh, so I'm gonna do that, and I'll bring you guys back here in a minute once I spend an hour trying to figure out what I don't hate. So, bring you back in a couple. Okay, so. Here we are, 
started placing some blocks down. I made a row of, uh, I think it was 35 blocks long. Kind of going for maybe something along those lines. Maybe slightly longer than what Melody was. But one thing I, I don't need in a combat frigate um, is a landing bay. And that was one of the things Melody came with. Um, so I decided to go like a different route and make something more straightforward for frontline combat. So I have a lot of angles and designs and whatnot. But I'm also going to try to use the 900mm side cannons. Um, I haven't used them before, so I think it's a good design challenge to uh, try things you haven't used before. I mean, having good designs and uh, good ideas that you've used in the past is always good. You can always incorporate them into new builds. But, you know, trying new things is how you can take your builds to the next level. Um, so there's a lot of things I can incorporate into this down the line, but like I said, I've never used these, so I'm going to try, and I'm going to try to make it unique, interesting, and hopefully effective. So what I'm going for here is, this is like, the this is the midsection of the ship. Um, this is what's going to connect uh, the bow to the stern. And uh, I incorporated a number of different things. I think I'm going to put some Falcons down here, and uh, I'm not sure. I got a bunch of design going on with the top. Actually, let me just show you guys. Where's where's my welding ship? Where did Cap put it? Okay, we parked it inside. So let me let me get this guy outside here and not run into things. Hopefully, there we go. And we've successfully made it out of the landing bay. Um, so, because I want to give you guys an idea of the blocks I've placed so far. Now, this is this may change. All of this may actually change. I have no idea. Um, this is just me throwing down blocks, going, okay, I know what the blocks look like. So, I'm just trying to come up with a unique arrangement and something that both will be effective and aesthetically cool to look at. So... We'll get like one side here done. Um, so that way you guys can really get an idea of what this is going to potentially look like here. Well, that's good. Because again, I don't know if I'm going to change it or not yet, so... So here's, here's the side. So there's the big cannon. Got armor plating on top. Um, I use stairs in here just to add some I mean, I could use the 2 by ones armor blocks, but I wanted to give, give it some definition. So using those kind of creates uh, the same slope, but, you know, gives, gives me extra detail. Um, again, I could have used the armor blocks here, but I'm using the interior walls to kind of give it more of an industrial look next to the cannons. And even then... I, I incorporated the half slopes just for extra protection and to eliminate having this just be a flat surface. Because um, I try to avoid using the cube blocks as much as possible because I treat them like any other block. They're they're not they're not my go-to. They're they're not what I build with. They're one of a lot of blocks I build with. So I make sure I always keep in the back of my head, you know, this is no more special than this. So there's no reason my ship should have, you know, 10,000 of these and only like 
20 of these. So that's that's where my mindset ends up going. Now I wanted to try to do something a little bit different with the bottom. So I use the half slope and then and then the two by one slope to kind of give it a more because this drops down I wanted to give it kind of like an indentation um, obviously I got a full armor block there because I need to be able to attach this guy there so I got the half slopes down here and I got it rounding out down here and my thought was that I could put Vulcans, at least a few of them, along the midsection to protect the lower part portion of the ship. Where'd the welder ship go? There it is. So not only that, but because of how I placed them, you know, these half slopes give me extra protection. And because I have a butted up right against um, an armor block behind it, and I have the 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 first slope pieces on each side, you know they still have a full range of fire. You know I have I have good range because it can shoot out. You know it it they got good range pointing in all in all directions on each side. So but they have a lot more armor coverage so when this portion of the ship is getting shot um, anything trying to target them has an improved chance of hitting the armor block instead which means these can survive longer so I'm not looking at just like putting like dozens of these along the bottom of the hull but I thought it would be a good like uh, addition to underneath the cannon section or the midsection of the ship um, to get a lot of downrange fire, if anything's coming at me, or if fighters are coming at me, or whatnot, that are trying to take out the big cannons, then I have I have good defensive turrets there to put a lot of ammo downrange. As for the top, the top's a little weaker, but I think I think that's okay. I mean, I could incorporate something. But I just don't want to cover the entire thing with weapons. Because um, that just gives plenty of targets to be shot at. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is going to use m some more of the... Maybe these, the autocannons. And maybe, maybe place a couple on the top section of the hull. Kind of flush this out into the rear section. And maybe have like a couple up along this area, and then maybe a couple along the front, because I want to make an expanded front hull to this. Because um, I like that idea. I've thought about it before. A few people mentioned it in the comments, so I mean, you know, I'm thinking it. Other people are thinking it, especially after the fight with Melody. So I mean, it, it's it's just a good idea. So we're gonna go that direction. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'll probably, I'm probably going to add at least one more to the midsection of the ship of something identical to this, so there'd be like two of them. Um, and then I may start branching out the rear section of the hull and the forward section of the hull and kind of, kind of see where the drive section is going to be, where my reverse thrust is going to be. I'll probably put some reverse thrust in the forward section of the ship. Um, and I have an interesting idea for a forward cannon. That's not the Little David's. Um, their reload time is ridiculously long and it, it they're hard to use. Um, so I want to try to go with something a bit more effective and I have an idea so I'm gonna throw down some more blocks maybe get a second one of these put together and uh, try to start flushing out some lines on just how big the 
back and front's going to be. So I'll bring you guys back in a sec. Okay, I've been plugging away some more. And uh, I decided to work towards the back of the ship first. Because I don't know how far I'll be able to extend the front part to kind of do what I want to do. Given the block limits on the server. So decided, you know, the, the back part of the ship is going to be the thruster pack and, you know, some more weapons and I got to put jump drives in this and reactors and whatnot. So I figured the back end of the ship I'm, I'm probably going to focus more on at the moment to just kind of get that flushed out. And, you know, not, not fully detailed out and everything, but to get the general idea of where I want things to be and how many of them there's going to be. Um, so that way I can move forward with the front of the ship and going, okay, I know I have like, you know, 1600 blocks to work with, or I have 1300, or I have 1700. Um, so yeah, I'm trying not to do it all at once, so I don't catch myself in a bind and I have to start uh, shaving parts of the ship off or... You know, like what I had to do with the Valkyrie, I had to, like, cut sections of the ship and merge it back, back together in order to free up some block counts so I could actually finish other sections of the ship. So, um, I'm trying to be a bit more careful this time around with the building. So, but, what I've done so far. So, like I said, I added a second one in here. And I think that's kind of looking pretty cool for a midsection. You know, I think those, the staircases give it, you know, some good detail. Um, obviously, there's, this has got to be colored up, but just from a grayscale standpoint. And I think, I think the, the interior blocks are providing some much needed um, detailing and definition of creating depth, you know, next to all the cannons. So I think and that's looking good. Um having the Vulcans down here. I don't... I, I'll be honest. I don't like this. This this row of blocks right here. I, I don't like that. Um, it looks... It looks too plain, and I just don't want to carry that through the entire design, so that's... This right here, those blocks, I'm going to do something here. Whether put something on top, break up... I need to break up this line, because it, it's just bothering me. This, this curves in. I like the curve in, but I feel like something should be happening here. Um, so that's on my list of things that I need to look more into. Um, I got a 300 millimeter dual cannon there um, to provide some very much needed, you know, downrange firing from the top of the ship. Um, and I'm thinking there might end up being at least a couple more on the forward section of the ship. Um, I may even put another one up here on top of this. Uh, and I was also thinking of putting possibly a couple more Vulcans on each of these sides. Just for some more. And I'm actually going to do that right now just to give that some more defensive capability. Um, so I sloped this out so that way I could get a broader surface to put that on. And these blocks are really nice for that, especially coming off the staircase. It, it kind of feels like a natural progression. Um, and I gave it some extra defense here, instead of just having a plane and rounding off the side, I added in the the 2 by one you know, tip and the half slab angles to uh, give this a little bit of extra coverage, um, which I think is cool. Let me get the welder ship real quick, and so you guys can actually appreciate this a bit more. That way you can that way you can see why I put some of the blocks where I have. And get 
some more of this welded up. Now, between the last cut and this one, I, I place blocks and I remove blocks, and there's like blocks all over the place, and yeah. So, it, it's taken a little bit of time to kind of get to this general shape. So, there we go. You can just stay there. So, now you can see a little bit better what I was going for. So I got the dual cannon here, I got the extra protection there, but that's not going to affect its field of fire, because that'll be able to turn 360 degrees. Well, except into this, so that won't help. But, uh, but I wanted to angle up from it, and instead of just putting like triangle blocks there, or three of these, I decided to mix up the design a little bit by uh, using these instead, and I'll put some blocks down underneath there at some point. Um, and I use these here, the ramps, to kind of carry some extra definition up into the top part of the ship, instead of just having this all be flat up here. It became too much of a flat surface, so I, uh, I wanted to do something more to kind of bring the top in together. Um, and as you can see here, I got a large thruster for reverse thrust. And I got this sloped down uh, and into some extra coverage here. And yeah, I got that tucked right in there. And the nice thing with the thruster damage is the fact that you know it, it's only moving through these two half blocks when you do the placement. So this half slab and that half slab won't actually be damaged and neither will the top and bottom parts here unless Keen randomly changes something on me in the next you know day which you know it's space engineer so who knows but this is what we're going to go for because it works now so we're gonna go with working now um, and obviously on the other side I have another one and that'll provide me some much needed reverse thrust, a lot more than Melody had, because Melody just had small thrusters. You know, this is going to give me two large thrusters of reverse thrust, and that's probably not even going to be all the reverse thrust either. Um, because Melody was hard to stop, and in combat, um, I, I don't want to drift that far past my opponent, or do long drifting circular you know, where we're chasing each other's tails because we don't have enough thrust to actually stop our ship when we're doing, you know, more than 50 kilometers per second. So, or meters per second. So I'm trying to be more practical with the thrust. This particular shape, I'm not sure how I'm going to fold in the bottom. The bottom may end up being some weird textured thing with more cannons. Um, but this is actually going to get carried out farther. And I may put some defensive um, armored wings on the ends here to kind of uh, give all the thrusters a bit more protection and throw some decoys in them. So that way more damage is going out here as opposed to the ship itself. Um, heck, I may even make them detachable. So that way when they take a ton of damage, I can just detach them and make the entire ship lighter, or even potentially use them as a projectile. Detect, detach them, and then slow down and just let them dumb fire. You know, because once, once a whole bunch of it is destroyed, you're just carrying around extra weight at that point, especially if the decoys are destroyed and your ship's getting shot. It's like, you're just carrying weight, and weight slows you down. So I might do that. That might be an interesting idea. We'll have to play around with that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but yeah, so this is going to kind of be the general shape. So far, besides running out of O2, let me go get some O2. Because, you know, not dying is good. We'll jump in Spectre's Fighter here because the head is ice. And there we go. Um, but overall, we're actually doing pretty good. Uh, right now, the block count on this is only 300 blocks. And a bunch of it is just placeholder scaffolding. 
so I got a lot of interior to do yet. Um, there's probably going to be at least two or three large reactors back here. And obviously the jump drives, and I got to put in a bunch of plumbing and everything else. So, yeah, the blocks are going to get eaten up pretty quick. But I'm liking the fact that, you know, we actually have, like, a center section of the hull already shaped out. And I'm not stressing about blocks. Um, so I'm happy about that. So, yeah, here we are. This is where we're at so far. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments on how you're liking it so far. Or if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Be happy to read through and uh, maybe incorporate some of them. So, uh, that's all for now. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up button. And uh, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys all later.